Hello, my name is Sarah Mills. I'm a colorectal consultant surgeon at One Wellbeck. So there are approximately 42,000 cases of bowel cancer a year in the UK, making it the fourth commonest cancer. It'll affect about one in 15 men in their lifetime and one in 18 women. And your lifetime risk of getting bowel cancer is about 5%. Bowel cancers occur when polyps that grow on the lining of the bowel get to a certain size and start to become malignant. Many people have polyps in their lifetime and we know that about one in six polyps turn into cancers. And this is why screening for bowel cancer is important because research has showed that for every 1% increase in detection of polyps, there is a 3% reduction in the incidence of bowel cancer and a 5% reduction in the deaths from bowel cancer. A recent survey by Bowel Cancer UK showed that over 40% of people didn't know what the signs of bowel cancer were. The common signs are bleeding from the bowel or blood seen in the toilet or in the stool. Change in the bowel habit, with the most common change being to an increased frequency or a looser stool. Abdominal pain or a mass in the abdomen. Iron deficiency anemia which is often experienced as extreme tiredness, especially on exercising or exertion. The other main symptom of bowel cancer can be weight loss, and this can be a sign of quite an advanced cancer. There are two groups of people we have to consider when thinking about detecting bowel cancers. There's the symptomatic population, who can because they have one of the symptoms we've already talked about. And there are the asymptomatic population, who we look for bowel cancers in, and this is called screening. In this country, there's a national bowel cancer screening programme, which consists of a stool test once every two years between the ages of 60 and 74. Recently, the age of the lower limit of screening has been reduced to 56. Other people who might want to consider screening beyond those without symptoms are people who have a family history of bowel cancer. Important factors of the family history are whether you have a first degree relative under the age of 50. About 20% of bowel cancers are due to genetic causes. The other population that we look at in terms of bowel cancer is the symptomatic population. We've already discussed the important symptoms of rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit, abdominal pain, iron deficiency anemia, and weight loss. Patients who have these symptoms should go and see their GP and be referred for further investigations. This is especially important as, as we know that we're picking up increased rates of bowel cancer in people under 50. In fact, there's been a 45% increase in bowel cancer rates in people under 50 since 2004. And we know that on average, people under 50 seek medical advice up to five times before they're referred for bowel cancer investigations. When your GP refers you to a specialist, such as we have here at One Wellbeck, you'll be seen in clinic in a full history, including your family history, taken. You'll be examined and then referred for a test depending on your symptoms and the signs found at examination. That test might be a colonoscopy, which is a test with a telescope to look around your colon, or what we call a virtual colonoscopy, or CT pneumocolon, where a specialised type of CT is done to look for lesions in the bowel. 